Hello, Guru Nation. How's it going? Wanted to do our weekly Latinos in clinical research job postings just to see what's out there, just to see maybe go through some of the job descriptions to see what they are all about. Uh, last week, we ended at Las Vegas Clinical Research Coordinator. Today, we're going to start with Rep Clinical Payment in Irvine. But before that, so you go to Latinos in Clinical Research, then you click on Networking Job Postings, and it'll take you here. If you're an employer, you just fill this out. We're happy to feature it. Right now, it's going to me. I'm manually reviewing everything and posting it. The more detailed, the better. So let's get to the first one this week. Clinical Payment, Irvine, California. This is the email address. Uh, key responsibilities, co process complex payments, invoices, expenses, clinical and medical affairs, uh, archive and reconcile payments, load and track costs, create a spreadsheet and input payment rules for each study. It sounds like it's for either a sponsor or a CRO. Uh, you got to have excellent problem solving and critical thinking. Which job doesn't require that? I'm curious. Which job does not require excellent problem solving and critical thinking skills? Why do they even put that there? Uh, full understanding of regulatory, GCP, CFR, uh, fair market value. So maybe you were somebody negotiating contracts for a site. Um, this could be good for you. Associate's degree or equivalent four years of previous related experience required. This is an example, guys. If small as the new big, if you work at a small site, chances are they might have you help them with various things. In some cases, it's contracts and budgets. If they don't, maybe ask, hey, is there a way I can help with contracts and budgets? I'm actually curious to learn more about contracts and budgets. Maybe they are just going to ask you if you want to help with that. I don't know. But look, that's why it's important. If you don't have a degree, four years of previous experience required. Bachelor's is preferred. Experience in the clinical industry, the healthcare industry is nice to have. So that's one. Then you got associate clinical research specialist in Irvine. You get 39 an hour on W2, almost 40 an hour. The position are considered, the position and rate are considered a CRA one. Now this is nice because that's going to go look nice on your resume. CRA one. Ensure clinical trials are conducted and reported in accordance with all applicable regulations. TMF. Uh, Good documentation practices, internal SOPs, U.S. regulations, skills, medical device, pharma, clinical experience required, site management. So like if you were an in-house CRA, a TMF specialist, study startup specialist. Look, I talk, look, I like these job postings because it's out in the wild. You see what's out there. I always say start out at a site level or start out as a study startup expert. As soon as you gain some experience, you're now eligible for CRA positions. This is going to be called the CRA one. All right. Excellent communication skills. Good. Um, see, problem solving, critical thinking. Why did they even put that there? Um, ability to build productive internal, external working relationships. Must be able to work in a team environment. Education, bachelor's degree in related field of study and minimum one year of previous experience as a CRA or the TMF or the startup specialist could be one as well. So now let's look at medical science liaison, Eli Lilly. So we have Eli Lilly post several um, job postings. So we're going to go through one at a time. Sometimes they get filled and then they don't appear anymore. Right now, this one is in Chicago and Detroit, medical, sci medical science liaison for diabetes, chronic weight management. I feel like they're hiring medical science liaisons all the time. Um, for those that don't know, if you've been following these weekly things, you know what a medical science liaison is. Um, it's basically in between sales and research and development. Basic qualifications is an advanced degree in health sciences, so like a PharmD, MD, PhD, uh, with two years of rel relevant experience. So I've seen even uh, veterinarians be able to do these roles. Um, PhD in medically related field is also good. Um, masters or bachelors in health science considered if five or more years clinical research or industry 
um, experiences there. So this is even, I've not seen this yet. For a medical science liaison, they'll consider a bachelor's level degree in health sciences. Um, if, if it will be considered if five or more years of clinical research experience in diabetes is present. So that's big time to me. That tells me right there, if you've been a coordinator and you happen to have a bachelor's level degree, like mine, for example, molecular and cellular biology, I probably would qualify. It's health science field. Um, so that, that's interesting to me. I learned something new here. Uh, so that's the first one. It's only the first one. The next one, another medical science liaison, uh, this one in LA and San Francisco. So the exact same job just for that territory, the exact same job in Alabama. And let me see what else we have. It looks like the exact same job in New York City area and Boston, New York and Boston. And the exact same job in Denver. So look, guys, Lily's doing a lot of stuff with diabetes, weight loss. I actually need to contact Lily um, because my PI is trying to get a weight loss study. I need to contact Lily. Lily, be on the lookout. I'm going to be contacting you soon. Um, What else do we have? Well, we have, let's see, we just finished Eli Lilly. So associate clinical research specialist. We did that medical science liaisons at Eli Lilly. Clinical research specialist remote. This is a clinical research specialist in Minneapolis, but you can work 100% remotely. Local candidates to Minneapolis preferred, but will consider remote candidates anywhere in the U.S. 21 plus month duration. What more can one ask for? Um, no opt to CTH1 transfer candidates. Previous experience managing studies from the sponsor perspective. This role will be responsible for serving as the primary point of contact and subject matter expert for assigned centers. The role will interact with multiple stakeholders, so sites, in order to proactively manage center performance and foster strong customer relationships. Um, maintain study file documentation, train on the protocol, train on EDC, proactively monitor overall center metrics and enrollments, work with sta- uh, site staff. So minimum qualification, bachelor's degree, two years or more working in clinical research, preferably from the sponsor side. Um, previous experience in a customer facing role, training in GCP. SOCRA, ACRP would be nice. Those are preferred. And that's the contact for there. Then we have clinical trial manager. There's been a lot this week. Clinical trial manager, feasibility lead, remote work. Um, Clinical trial manager. I've interviewed Tiffany Ashton. Very stressful job. 18-month contract, remote. The client has the right to hire you as a permanent employee. But in the beginning, you're going to be a contractor. Partners with CRO and ClinOps to develop and deliver rapid, accurate, and robust assessments of program and country feasibility oversight of site ID, focusing on data-driven estimates. You basically run the whole study. Support and manages process related to program, protocol, country. This is for like very experienced people. Um, In general, candidates for this job would have the following levels of experience in clinical research, BS or equivalent, MS three years, PhD, MD two years, a broad-based experience in clinical research, including, so a generalist, they're asking for a generalist, guys, including clinical trial conduct, knowledge, GCP. That's a good one. Somebody out there is going to get it. Here's a very simple one. Manager, regulatory compliance at a site in Texas. When you see ones like this, okay, cttexas.com, look at the email cttexas.com always look i don't know maybe there's people here that don't know cttexas.com look at the after the at if you need to know more info about the company look at after the at okay on the email and this one i typed it in wrong unless their website doesn't exist then you really can't do anything with it everything's working on our side so the link, link you clicked is either wrong or has been retired So I don't know what's going on with this one. Try to email this person. Let them know you're interested. If you get a bounce back, 
it means they did a typo on their submission. Uh, here's a clinical research coordinator in Arizona, Kelly Scientific. Clinical research coordinator, great opportunity for direct hire um, on site in Arizona East Valley. Will assist PIs and sub eyes responsible for the successful coordination of clinical trials. So basically, study co everything study coordinator. There's the email address. Carla is the recruiter. Um, and she messages me on LinkedIn. So I know that it's a, a good. Unlike the last one, I don't know how that one got by me. I think it's a typo. Uh, so that's the jobs for this week. There's nothing else. Keep checking back. Keep checking back on latinosandclinicalresearch.com. And good luck going out there and getting them. Catch you all later. Bye-bye.